Welcome to our lecture online. In this next video on how can you believe this? <laughs> <Can you believe? laughs> okay. All right, let me try it again. Welcome to our lecture online. On our next video on can you believe it? We're going to explore how many neutrinos go through our body every single second of every day. Now, of course, that depends on actually doesn't really depend that much on which side of the earth we are on, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But first of all, what is a neutrino? Well, we'll get into that a little bit more, but what we need to know about neutrinos is that they're very tiny little particles that have virtually no mass, a very small amount of mass, a lot less than an electron, and they move at very high speeds near the speed of light. And what's in particular about neutrinos is that they generally do not interact with normal matter. So if a neutrino comes towards us, it'll go right through us as if we're not here. Matter of fact, they go right through the earth and come out the other side and continue. And it turns out there's a lot of those neutrinos that hit us every single second. The question is how many? Well, let's go to this picture right here, and here we have the sun. The sun is constantly converting hydrogen into helium as a nuclear furnace producing an enormous amount of energy. And of course, that energy goes all over in all directions in space, including in the direction of the Earth. Now, 600 million tons of hydrogen is converted to helium every single second in the sun. That's an enormous amount of hydrogen that gets converted to helium. How many atoms is that? Well, we multiply 600 million tons times 1,000 kilograms per ton, 1,000 grams per kilogram, and for every gram of hydrogen, we have Avogadro's number, or 6 times 10 to the 23 hydrogen atoms per gram. That ends up being 3.6 times 10 to the 38 atoms of hydrogen that are converted into helium every single second in the sun. And for each one of those reactions, and that happens when two protons slam together to turn themselves into a deuteron, a neutrino is ejected. And that's a symbol for a neutrino. And so therefore, 3.6 times 10 to the 38 neutrinos are created in the sun every single second through that nuclear fusion process. And those neutrinos just spread out in all directions from the reaction and leave the sun and permeate into the universe. And of course, anything that's in the way gets hit by the, those neutrinos, including the Earth, including the person standing on the Earth. So how many neutrinos will slam into the surface of the Earth that's situated directly towards the Sun? And let's say we take one square meter of surface of the Earth, how many neutrinos will hit that? Well, you say, well, there's a lot of neutrinos leaving the Sun, but a square meter at a distance of 150 million kilometers, how many neutrinos can be left over? Well, you'd be surprised. We take 3.6 times 10 to the 38 neutrinos and divide that by the surface area of a sphere that's formed by the Earth's orbital radius. And we do that, so this is 150 billion meters from here to the Sun. We square that distance times 4 pi. 4 pi r squared is the surface area of a sphere. We end up with 1.28 times 10 to the 15 neutrinos. Now 10 to the 12 is trillion, so that's 128 trillion neutrinos for every square meter per second. Now of course not all of the surface of the Earth is pointed directly towards the, uh, towards the Sun. You could be kind of at an angle right up here at a higher latitude. And so let's just on average divide that by 2. And so let's say it's about 600 trillion neutrinos per square meter per second that hit the Earth. And then saying that the human body facing the Sun like that is potentially one-tenth of a square meter in surface area that would then be exposed to those neutrinos, divide the number by 10, and we end up with 60 trillion neutrinos that strike us every single second and they go right through us with virtually none of them interacting with anything inside our bodies. So constantly, every one of us are being hit by trillions upon trillions of neutrinos. Every single second, they go right through us near the speed of light, and we're not any worse because of it. That's astounding, all as a result of what happens in the core of the sun as the sun converts hydrogen into helium. Everything in the solar system is being bombarded by trillions upon trillions of neutrinos at all times, and yet, we don't seem to suffer from it. 
Wow. It's like we're a big bag of emptiness, neutrinos go right through us, and we don't feel them, we don't see them. They're, by the way, very hard to detect, but as we stand here, and as we sit, continuously, trillions upon trillions of neutrinos, every single second, strike our body and move right through it, continue through the Earth, come out the other side, and continue through the universe. Can you believe it? So that, that symbol is new, right? Yeah, that's a symbol new, and that's what we use for neutrinos. So, what are, isn't there, like, statistically speaking, one of those will hit something? Once in a while, not very often, maybe once a day, once a week, once a month, one neutrino will strike something in, inside our body and ricochet off of it, and yes, there will be a small amount of damage when it does so. Then what's that small amount of damage? It's at the molecular level, so it's... It really, I don't think it's going to matter much. <laughs> you don't seem convinced. <laughs> right, I'm not too concerned. Let's put it this way. I'm not concerned about being bombarded by the neutrinos. I'm much more concerned about other things. Like human beings. <laughs> like other human beings. <laughs> yes.